We're making the number one drink at Starbucks. It's the iced brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. Hey guys, I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we are making my favorite drink on the Starbucks menu, but I've only been able to order it twice because I live a low carb lifestyle and it has way too many carbs and sugar for my liking. So today we're making a low carb version that you can make at home. Okay, so I went to Sbucks this morning. I picked up the drink because of course we're gonna do a comparison. I even picked up some espresso so that, you know, it can give us the real deal feel. So we're gonna start off with our ice. Okay, so we have our cup. We're gonna do ice. And you know they give you a lot of ice there, so we're gonna fill this baby up. Now I have my milk ready to go here. I'm using the almond milk. Okay, don't judge me. I did grab the, um, this is a no sugar added oat milk because I did want to give it a try. And of course it tastes delicious, but even though it has no sugar, it has 12 grams of carbs. So I was like, excuse me, why? It is for eight ounces though. So, you know, if you're just more low carb, I would say for sure do it. But now I'm using the almond milk. It's unsweetened because it only has one gram, one carb. So we're going to go ahead and pour that in. Ooh. Now our next step is our brown sugar syrup. Now this is super important because without the brown sugar syrup, you're basically just having an iced Americano. So I'm going to go ahead and make our own. So this is my homemade vanilla syrup. I will leave this linked in the description below. Um, it's amazing, sugar-free of course, and tastes just as good, if not better. So we're gonna go ahead and do a shot because these drinks are sweet, very sweet. Um, but you don't have to worry about it because there's not all that sugar going in. And then here we have, now you have some options. This is blackstrap molasses. So we're just gonna add that into our syrup and I'm gonna mix it in or you can find a brown sugar substitute. They do have them out there, and then you would just mix the two. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this in. Okay, so as you can tell, this is our homemade brown sugar syrup, but it's super clean, no additives, no preservatives. So if you are all about clean ingredients, then you're definitely gonna go this route. Our brown sugar syrup is done. Now Truvia makes one. Um, this is like a brown sugar substitute. You can use that or just find one that is, you know, sugar free. But I'm telling you this route is gonna give you the real deal. So I'll um, link the molasses that I use also in the description below. It's like a, a triple filtered, um, I think it's like 11 grams of carbs per tablespoon and we're only using like a little teaspoon. So just to give you an idea, we're going to go ahead and pour this in. Okay. And now last but not least our espresso, which we are doing a shot. This is actually two, two shots of espresso. We're just going to pour that in. Woo. I'm about to be hyper guys. Now, this is optional at Starbucks, but for me, it's been a game changer. I think it adds so much flavor and I would not leave it out. So we are doing a little dash of cinnamon. And now let's go ahead and mix. All right, let's go ahead and do the taste test. Oh my gosh, guys, it tastes like it. This is delicious. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a little strong. It's a little strong. Not gonna lie. So it is a strong drink. It's not overly sweet. I would say it's more, um, the sweetness is definitely subtle, but you get those hints of the brown sugar and then it's creamy enough, but not creamy because of course it's like non-dairy milk and it's not like a cream going into it guys. But those espresso shots, boom, they're there. It definitely feels like a pick-me-up drink mixed with dessert. It's like perfect. And it's so low in, in sugar and in carbs. So this has less than five grams of carbs. And the Starbucks one has 30, guys. 30 grams of carbs. And 20 grams, like 25 grams of sugar. <sighs> Breaks my heart. 
but at least you know you can make it at home we can't order it at starbucks but you can make it at home it's gonna be just as good if not better and you know that you are making it with clean ingredients and you're not putting all that sugar into your body so i'm gonna go ahead and leave the recipe in the description below if you guys like this video make sure you hit the like button give me more recommendations like which are your favorite starbucks drinks that you would like me to recreate and make them low carb or sugar free but um also share the channel and this recipe with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or that you just know are obsessed with this drink and would love a healthier version. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.